Hi friends, welcome to my channel Total QA. Today we are going to focus on a new topic how do we select a future date using calendar class and this example is mainly helpful from the Selenium tools perspective and also Java API perspective. To select a future date using calendar class we have to mainly understand from the Selenium perspective in a Selenium web, Selenium mainly in a website there are date pickers which are available. So this date picker is always useful to select a future date and also from the Java perspective there are built-in Java classes already available such as calendar class, date class and simple date format class which are mainly useful to generate a future date from the current date and if you would like to generate the date like 10 days from now or 20 days from now this 10 or 20 we wanted to generate a random number then we would need the random class which is available in java api and once the date is getting generated in a particular format is in mmdd yyyy so if you wanted to fetch only the year or the month or the date out of the date format which is getting generated then we have to use split function which is available in the string class so to achieve this we have to follow the steps here as per the logic mentioned we have to create an calendar instance add the required number of days fetch the date convert the date into a simple date format which is mmddyy which is a required format now we would like to get into the demo now to understand this logic i have created a program future date which is a java class and i have added the main method here now let's create an object for the calendar class calendar cal is equal to calendar dot get instance let me try to import it. The statement is getting imported. Then cal dot add. Mainly we are interested to add the date, the future date. Say suppose for example 10 days from now. Not only the date, we can even select the month as a future month, which is two months from now. Cal date calendar dot month. And not only month, we can even select the year two years from now. Cal date dot add calendar dot year. We can select two years from now. So if you would like to see what is a date that has been generated, which is from the future date, try to print the date now. For that, just try to get the time. The time will return the date as outcome date d is equal to cal dot get time and try to print the date now to see what is the future date that is getting generated now date d equal to let me try to print the date and show you the outcome of this date let me try to import for the date and here for the date there are different import statements but select java dot util dot date now we are able to generate the future date which is 10 days from now and 2 months from now and 2 years from now all these added finally we get the future date which is the date which is generated based upon the values we added let me print and show you the outcome now run as java application now we got the date but the date is not in the format which we would like to use in the case of tools like selenium so you are always interested to select the date based upon the particular date format like MMDDYY. MM stands for month, DD stands for date and year YYYY. So for that we have to use a class called simple date format class STF. We are creating an object of the simple date format. While creating an object we have to pass a parameter which is the format we would like to use it in our example. So this is a format we would like to use in our example. So let me try to import the packages for the simple date format. Now we are able to create an object. Now STF, we have to use this object then stf.format. We have to provide a date here, the date which we already got it and convert this the date and returns a string. This is a very good 
point here but now we format the date with the string date string and we would like to print the string and see whether it has been converted into the format which we would like now date, date format we can even mention which format we would like to print and see the outcome right let me execute again to see the outcome right so this is the date we are able to print in the beginning this date has been converted into a simple date format and we are able to get the date month date and year accordingly now suppose for example we are trying to select this 10 as a hard coded value which is 10 days from now suppose if we wanted to give any number less than 100 so in that case only we need a random class otherwise we won't require this random class right now random here and random dot next int we have to select next int and provide the range suppose i'm providing the range is 100 so this will give rand value For this value we are going to take it and we are going to pass it here. Before that, let's try to print this value also to see what is the outcome of this random value. Random number, random integer value. Let's try to print this and see as well. Okay, then let me execute this program now. So the random integer value is 96 and this 96 has been added to the date and the date has been printed accordingly and we are going to convert this date into this format and then suppose for example we would like to fetch the year 2023 out of this date yes that is also possible by converting by using the split function so date string dot split date string is also a string we are converting we are trying to uh, break it that string into multiple strings so we are going to get an array here date array and also keep in mind the array starts with index 0 so when i'm going to give split then we get three values one is mm then second one is dd then y y y y but we are interested in the year the index is 2 now now to get the year as well so if you look at the java api we have used simple date format to convert the date into a particular format calendar mainly to add the number of days or the year or the month and the date mainly to convert once the data is formatted we are going to get the date then random class we are using mainly for generating a random number which we are going to pass for the future date Then these APIs we have to remember from the Java API perspective which will be helpful for us. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends.